News of the fire investigation has been hard for fire victims to hear. Cardio News Channel 13's Olivia Wilson has been speaking with people in both Black Forest and Waldo Canyon. Heather James, both communities are moving forward after those devastating fires. One thing they share in common, wanting justice if someone is responsible. This used to be where I lived. Um, that was my house right there. Michelle Andre walks us through the snow in Black Forest tonight to the place she used to call home. Well, it used to be. Not anymore. It's clear that this was human cause. Four months after the fire, KRDO broke the news that it may have been set on purpose. The fact that they think it is arson, um, I hope that they can find the person who's responsible because they don't understand what effect they had. The effect for Michelle is beyond emotional. She had to move into a mobile home that is barely adequate during these freezing cold nights. The wind really, really, really blows here. And uh, right now, I don't have any skirting to go around my motorhome. Here in Black Forest, for people like Michelle living in motorhomes, they have to use a propane tank and an electric heater to stay warm. But here in the Waldo Canyon area, 70% of the homes are rebuilt or are being rebuilt. So heating the home is a lot easier. Carla Albers moved into her new home in May. Not until you get back into your home can you really start to have closure over an event like what we went through. Although investigators haven't found the cause of the Waldo Canyon fire, she shares the same feelings as Michelle. I think that if somebody did this, uh, intentionally started this, that there need to be repercussions. I would love for them to see the faces of the people that they impacted. In the meantime, Michelle at least has found peace. Being out here gives me a, a sense where I can kind of escape that. Now the Black Forest community is working together to try to find long-term solutions for people like Michelle to stay warm. For now, several people are staying in a hotel paid for by a generous business owner. Reporting live, Olivia Wilson, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks, Olivia. And we will have the results of our four-month-long investigation into failings during the Black Forest fire beginning Monday night. An important story for our community.